A powerful feature of Google Sheets is the ability to install third-party add-ons. This can extend the functionality of the program beyond that of its rivals like Excel and LibreOffice Calc. This allows Google Sheets to do some very unique and interesting things. In our case, we will use a free add-on called Eventomatic. This will allow Google Sheets to populate your calendar with cattle, poultry and lambing dates. Once this is done, you can then have the calendar set up and send you phone alerts or emails. How to install the plugin. First, we need to install Eventomatic. This is easy to do. To do this, you need to 1. Open your own copy of the Livestock Date Calculator spreadsheet and click on Add ons in the menu bar. 2. Select Get Add ons. 3. In the next pop up menu, type Eventomatic and hit Enter. The add on will pop up in the next window. Click the blue Free button to install and then choose the Gmail account where you want to sync the spreadsheet and calendar. In the next window, you need to allow Eventomatic to access your calendar, spreadsheet, and other Google applications. That's the installation done. Now let's start the final part synchronizing the spreadsheet and your calendar. Synchronizing dates between the livestock calculator and the calendar. OK, we're all set. If you've seen the previous videos, you will have a good understanding of how my spreadsheet calculator works and you will also understand how to set up Google Calendar so it can send alerts to your phone or mobile device. Now, we're going to start adding dates to our calendar. In my example, I'm going to show you how to sync the chicken hatch dates. There's only a few dates on this sheet, so it'll be easy to show you how to add, change and delete things using this data. To start using the plugin you need to go to the add-ons menu at the top of your spreadsheet page. In the drop down box move your cursor over the Eventomatic menu item. When you hover your cursor over this menu you will see the options for the plugin. Our first step is to set up the plugin so it's talking with a particular calendar. So click the setup button. In the next menu tick the advanced mode button and click setup. In the next menu labeled source and destination you will need to select the sheet and the calendar you want to synchronize. In our example it will be the chicken sheet. So in this menu, I select the Chicken Google Calendar and in the Sheet of Event Information box, I select the Chicken Spreadsheet page, then click Next. Now we need to tell the plugin how we want things arranged in our calendar. In the next menu, labelled Event Info, select Incubator as our title and set the event description as the breed, then click Next. 7. You should then see a menu called Event Type. To keep things simple, I suggest you tick the box called Create Full Day Events. If you don't tick this box, Eventomatic will want you to select a specific time and date of when an event will happen. As we're dealing with bovine births, ruminant labour and hen hatchings, our dates don't work in this manner. So make sure you tick the Create Full Day Events box. 8. While we're still in the menu called Event Type, we need to tell Eventomatic which column in our spreadsheet we will use for our calendar dates. We can make these full day events as our entries don't span a time period. And we're only using this spreadsheet to send a reminder of when something's going to hatch or give birth. So in the Date for First Day in All Day Event box, select Due Dates in the drop down box and do the same with the box below. This will tell Eventomatic which column to use when adding dates to our calendar. Then click Next. 9. You don't need to do anything in the next menu labeled Advanced Options. So just click Next again. 10. In the last menu, Eventomatic will give you a summary of how it's going to populate your calendar with your spreadsheet data. Before Eventomatic does its thing, please check your info to ensure it's correct. Then click the Preview button. 11. The next menu allows you to preview your events before adding them to your calendar. Again, just have a flick through everything so you get a feel of what's going to happen, how it works, and make sure you're happy with everything. Click the big tick box once you're done. Well done. You've now added all the events to your calendar. Once Eventum Attic has finished, it will add some essential functions to the right of your spreadsheet. Do not delete this data or you'll have problems when syncing, altering, or removing dates from your calendar when using the plugin. One handy feature is that Eventomatic creates an event link column at the right of your spreadsheet. If you click this blue link in any of those cells, you'll be taken to that particular calendar event. If you go to your Google Calendar and skip to September 2017, these are the example dates I used, you will see your newly created events and dates. If you've altered the dates, you'll need to skip to the month of the dates you used. Deleting dates. 
The easiest way to remove dates from your calendar is to find that date in Google Calendar, click on it and then select delete. And then delete the date and row from your spreadsheet. However, it's simple to delete dates from the spreadsheet using Eventomatic. To do this, you need to locate the column labelled Delete Y, place a Y into the cells in the Delete Y row. Any cells marked with a Y are removed when the plugin is run in the next step. In the next step, then go to Add-ons, Eventomatic, Delete Selected Events. This will run Eventomatic again, and any dates marked with a Y will be removed from both the spreadsheet and the calendar. Also, Eventomatic creates a record of dates that were removed to the right of the column in the same group of data. You can now delete these rows if you wish. Excluding dates from synchronizing with your calendar. You can easily tell Eventomatic to exclude any row from syncing with your calendar. This will keep the row and not delete anything in Google Sheets, but no dates will be added to your calendar. To exclude a date from synchronizing, you simply need to add a Y under the column Exclude from Sync. Whenever you run the Eventomatic plugin, it will ignore any rows with a Y in them. Altering dates in the spreadsheet and updating your calendar. Eventomatic does a good job at detecting any changed dates. It can change dates in three different ways. They are Smart Sync. This detects the newest edits between the calendar and the spreadsheet dates. It uses the most recently changed date and updates either the spreadsheet and the calendar with the most recently changed date. Sync Up. This uses any dates created in the spreadsheet to alter and overwrite the dates in the calendar. Sync Down. This uses the dates in the calendar to overwrite and alter dates in the spreadsheet. As you can see, Eventomatic can sync dates in various ways. To use these features and to update and alter and change dates, go to the add-ons menu, Eventomatic, sync already created events. You can then select any of the options I mentioned previously. One of the good things about Eventomatic is its ability to preview any alterations before committing to any changes. Once you're happy with what you see in the preview window, you can click the Run button. It will then make your changes. Conclusion Google Sheets, Eventomatic and Google Calendar are powerful tools when combined. They provide a good way to record and track farming events and send alerts when you need them. You can use the method outlined in this guide for any type of farming task where you need to record dates, add them to a calendar and then be sent alerts. It's a flexible solution that costs nothing and it's a viable alternative to expensive agricultural software that does a similar job. I hope you have enjoyed this guide. If you have any questions, please stick them in the comments section. Also, I'd love to hear your feedback on this system. If you've hit any problems or like it for whatever reason, please let me know. You can always contact me through my website. I'll be happy to help. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like or share it. If you would like more useful farming tutorials like this, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel or go to my site and join my mailing list.